This is how you fund your QZ Asset Management account. This is when you sign up with our referral link, right? You can look out for that link in the description, or you could simply reach out to us directly and ask for a referral link. That's the first step. Then you sign up, you log into your dashboard, and you would see this page here. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to fund this account with 100 USDT TRC20, and we're going to activate a hundred dollar contract with QZ asset money. All right. So basically you have to have the funds available in your crypto wallet, right? So I use Exodus. So Exodus is here and you can see I have Tether 143 and I have Tron available to move the Tether, which is USDT TRC 20. So just for your knowledge, you have to have Tron available to move USDT from your wallet to any other wallet or platform, right? So I would say uh, maximum 40-50 TRX per transaction. The TRX token is, is known as gas fees when moving the USDT. All right, so we're going to do, um, we're going to move some USDT from our Exodus wallet to QZ platform. So here we go, guys. Super easy to do. You log into your account. You're going to select Deposit USD. All right? There's only one method they have, which is TRC20 USDT. You're going to select Next. All right. So once you select Next here, you're going to now copy the address that was given under the barcode. So we're going to copy that address here. And we're going to head over to our crypto wallet. In this case, it's Exodus. We're going to hit send. Make sure it's on Tether USDT. All right. So we're going to just right click here, select piece. This is the address. Always make sure the network is on the Tron network. All right. So we're going to input $100 because that's how much we want to send. Right, so you could see $99.55. So we don't want to send 99.55, we want to send a hundred dollars. So it's always good to put an extra dollar. All right, so we're gonna just put point zero zero. Make sure the address is there. Always verify your address information. And we're going to hit send here. Right. So this is it here. They're asking us if we are sure. Uh, we want to just make sure the address is the correct address by checking T and E. The first three characters. It's really that simple. Right. So you can see it is the correct address here. And we're going to just hit send here. Right, so that amount was sent from our crypto wallet. Let's take a look and see how much TRX was charged for that transaction. So you could see they took a hundred TRX to do that transaction, right? So that's good. We have literally 254 here. So now we just wait for the funds to reflect on the account. All right, so we're just gonna wait here. All right, we're just gonna just verify the transaction, All right? Okay, good. So I'm gonna resume this video as soon as it reflects on the account. So you all could see the, the fee change from 100 to 27.25, which is not bad. Right, so they basically hold that hundred DRX temporary and they they originally pulled out here yeah, twenty seven, let's say twenty eight TRX for that transaction. So that's even better. All right, so I'm gonna resume this video as soon as it reflects on the account with QZ. All right, so we're back to the account here. Yeah. We just scroll all the way down from desktop from dashboard, sorry. You scroll all the way down and you're going to see 
my wallet one hundred dollars. Well, in this case, one hundred and one. So, as you can see, I sent one on one, and the platform accept the one on one. So, it's up to you. You could send the hundred dollars flat, and uh, most likely it's gonna reflect in the account. But you wanna be sure. So I always put like a little dollar extra. Uh, when sending sometimes just to make sure especially when it's sending from a crypto wallet so we're going to activate the contract now it's super easy from here on the same page here you're going to enter the amount here that you want to activate so in this case i'm going to put the whole 101 right and we're going to hit confirm right so you're going to put back the amount here the 101.00 and you're gonna place now your transaction password here and this is to confirm the activation of the contract for the 101 dollars all right so give me a sec guys so we have our transaction password here we're gonna have confirm right so i'm glad this happened here guys so you all can see you cannot put the 101 you have to put it in multiplier of 100 so example would be 100 you know 200 or 300 so what i have to do here i would have to change the amount to 100. right so we put we made the changes to 100 we're gonna hit confirm All right, so you can't even put the dots. You just have to put one zero and zero. Right, so we just put in one zero zero, and we got the prompt here now. Are you wanna confirm for sure? We wanna hit confirm, and purchase was successful. So it's literally that easy to do, guys. So as you can see, you cannot put one on one. You cannot put one zero zero point zero zero. Just have to keep it at one zero zero. If you're doing a hundred dollar account, if you're doing a five hundred, it has put five zero zero. If you have that amount in your back home. So as you can see, the date here is created, the amount, and you're gonna see four hundred here. This is to represent your total return. So come tomorrow, you're gonna. This account here is going to start getting back 0 0.50. All right, so you're going to see 0 0.50 here slash 400. So every week it will increase like 3.5 or so, and you're going to see going towards that 400. Once it completes that 400, it's going to complete the cycle of this particular contract, which is 400% return back to you all right so this video is to show you guys how to make a deposit and activate your contract for choosy asset management